It began with a simple letter inscribed with excitement and love by the hand of a little girl named Hope. Dear Satan, it read. An unusual start and an unfortunate typo, for Hope had, of course, meant for the letter to go to Santa. The letter went on to praise Satan for his joviality and kindness, and then to ask him for a special gift. A second unfortunate thing happened when Hope enveloped the letter and then addressed it again to Satan. Two innocent typos that would change the very face of Christmas. Deep in the pits of hell, Satan was reading through his morning sacks of hate mail. The usual stuff. Drop dead and die, arse face, and you look like a shit lobster, and stop possessing grandma, you heartless beast. When he came across an envelope carefully written in colored pencil, he was eating a back toasty, but he paused and studied the letter. Dear Satan, I hope that you are doing well. I think you are brilliant and special, and I want to grow up to be like you someday. Here is my Christmas list, and it was a list of just one thing, a puppy. What happened next surprised everyone, but no one more than Satan himself, for the Lord of Darkness felt a sweet aching in his chest as a new emotion coursed through his veins. I'm special, he thought. Me, how lovely. And he immediately vomited gallons of oil and bile, because he had never before uttered that word. He was on his knees, surrounded by vomit, when Vlakis, his advisor, entered. Are you, are you crying? Crying? What are you, an idiot pig? These are tears of anger, of rage. <laughs> Satan barged out of his office and locked himself in the toilet. What the hell was going on? The following days were hell, literally, but for old Beelzebub, hell had gotten a whole lot worse. He was plagued with kindly urges, disgusting feelings like pity, empathy, and compassion, and every time he felt them, he'd vomit bile into the face of whomever he might be passing. He couldn't eat, he couldn't sleep, and eventually he hit the bottle, hard. He was going to drown those damn feelings. He drank a gallon of gin and blood, sent a drunken WhatsApp to his ex, wept uncontrollably, and finally passed out. He woke the next morning, and before he knew what he was doing, he had booked in an all-staff meeting. Hell's inboxes pinged at the same moment with the same mail, titled Love, Tolerance and Kindness, a lecture by Satan, attendance mandatory. Everyone assumed that it was sarcastic, a joke, a rug pull. They'd all arrive and it would be an afternoon of pitchforking pandas again. And so it came to pass that the whole of hell were absolutely astounded to see the devil stood before them all wearing yoga pants and many friendship bracelets. He went on to lecture at length on the key pillars of tolerance and oneness, even at one point quoting Gandhi. He finished with a heartfelt cover of Imagine on a little keyboard. Well, the gates of hell opened, and people just walked out. Lackeys threw eggs. Jack the Ripper shouted, You suck! Genghis Khan tried to storm the stage. Less than an hour after giving the speech, the elders of hell had gathered for a secret meeting, and Satan was cast out of the netherworld for being, in their words, a pussy. Life in the real world turned out to be less traumatic than Satan feared. He'd been up there a few times before. He'd holidayed with the KKK and played bingo with Bin Laden. But he was different now. He settled into Shoreditch and took a job at a gluten-free bakery. He liked the atmosphere. He learned how to shape little motifs on the top of cappuccinos. He wore baseball caps and made a friend called Caspian. All was well. And then came the night before Christmas. Satan was finishing up some last-minute shopping when he noticed a small girl chatting to Santa in a budget grotto. The girl felt familiar, but he couldn't place her until he overheard her say, Hi, Santa, my name is Hope. Did you get my Christmas letter? You didn't reply. All I want is a puppy. The color drained from Satan's face. It was all a lie. The letter had never been meant for him. He'd been taken for a fool. How could the all-seeing Lord of Darkness have overlooked such a glaringly obvious typo? A deep burning roared up through his body. He knew the feeling well. It was his old friend, Fury. Before he knew what was happening, he had cremated Santa. Hope, who watched the whole thing and who would probably never recover, felt a fury of her own. With a heartbreaking tear in her eye, she screamed at Satan, 
I hate you! You ruined Christmas! Go to hell! And indeed, back to hell old Lucifer went. As the sun set, he stormed through the gates of the underworld, but he was filled with yet another mysterious new feeling. And then came Christmas morning. All the boys and girls across the land rushed to open their presents, but something was different this year. There were presents aplenty, but they weren't the usual gifts. Santa had not survived, but Christmas had. Hope got more or less what she wanted. Sure, it had three heads, breathed fire and pissed lightning, but she couldn't be happier. And Satan? Well, this was his little secret, but it made him feel really... <laughs> 